Okay, you guys. So I went to Toronto to go see the queen herself and it was life-defining. Uh, Beyonce gave us visuals, vocals. Energy, life, and I cannot put into words how incredible of an artist and just a human being she is to put this artistry out there consistently. And like, this is not her first time, but like, and not that I've ever gone to a Beyonce concert before because hello, we were out here young and broke. Um, but seeing kind of like her performances on TV and then getting to experience it live with this like community of people is just so different. But I think also just like, again, I'm comparing this to just watching her performances um, on TV is just to say that this is so incredible. I feel like this show is just out of this world <laughs> gloriousness. When Adele said that Beyonce, you are the artist of my life, no lies were told, I wholeheartedly believe that and she gave us an assignment to come dazzling in their best silver shine renaissance fit and so today i'm going to share with you guys a little bit of what i got from toronto that fits into that theme if you're thinking of planning your outfit maybe you'll get some inspo but let's get into it so i want to get into the first item here okay you see this but this is Miss Tiffany and Co. And if you don't know, Beyonce is a Tiffany and Co. Uh, brand ambassador. They are very lucky to have her. I'm sure sales have gone up. I, that's actually something that I would really love to compare the data to. And Tiffany has outfitted a lot of costumes and jewelry that Beyonce has wore on this tour, including that fabulous Elsa Peretti uh, bodysuit dress she wore uh, in Toronto that were, by the way, all diamonds, diamonds by the yard. But as much as I would love to deck myself out in diamonds, we, <laughs> we ain't got those kind of funds over here. But we do have something very special in here. So as brand ambassador, uh, Tiffany and & Co and Beyonce did a collaboration together. And these are limited edition pieces only available online as far as I can tell. And 100% of the proceeds um, go to uh, the Carter Foundation, Black and African American youth who want to pursue the arts in higher education. So you know Miss Tiffany and Co, the, the famous dog tag necklaces circa the 2000s. So this here is an exclusive um, renaissance. I am calling it merch. Let's see here if I can get close to that because we are struggle busing. So this is like exclusive uh renaissance merch here so it says welcome to the renaissance tiffany and co um tiffany and co new york beyonce 925 and i purposely am not wearing a necklace today because i just want to i want to wear this um this is in the 18 inch i believe um it comes in 16 inches and 20 inch length and so I opted for the longer one because you girls got a little bit of neck <laughs> and I just prefer a, a chunky necklace like this to be a little bit longer so that I can layer, I'm struggling here you guys, so I can layer another piece over it if I wanted to though this is like very chunky on its own so I don't think that I will be doing that. 
So this is the fabulous, fabulous necklace. I do kind of wish that um, they did do it in the heart. Um, to me, that feels a little bit more Tiffany, but I guess maybe the circle may reminds me of the disco ball, which is totally fine as well. Um, no problem there. So that is the first item. I just thought that this was like the bougiest merch or whatever. I also kind of wish that they had left room for engravement um, so that you can like maybe engrave the city that you saw her in. Like that, those would have just been like cool extra little details, but for the most part, like we are, we're living, we're living and that is that. So this is, so this is the first um, item. And then I did get some more merch. So I went to the uh, exclusive pop up at Holt Renfrew. I think this was the only one in um, North America that they did. And uh, listen, I'm glad I, I got there when I got there because there was a, that line was lining up. And uh, I was not there for that because I also went to Holt Renfrew to pick up a specific item that uh, I'll show you in a separate haul. But um, yeah, I picked up some merch. One of these tops she did have at her shows, but you know, those lines are longer too and I'm glad I got mine when I did. So the first one is this beautiful, beautiful shirt with Miss B and herself and her glory and her rhinestones. And I know the girls are out here cutting it up, cutting these t-shirts up to wear over a piece of um, like, you know, sequined or shiny bottomed or whatever crystallized bottoms. And I love it, but I also kind of want to keep the t-shirt the way it is just to preserve it um, and then on the back you'll see the tour dates uh, the North American tour dates as well so that was the first piece they also had as you can see in my video they had uh, the collaboration with about mom but I was just like I'm not paying six hundred dollars three to six hundred dollars for sweats even though Jay-Z ended up wearing them at that concert <laughs> uh if I, like that's just not where i am in my life right now um and then this one was the toronto exclusive um so here is her in her intergalactic um amazing fantasiness whatever this is it kind of gives me a little mugler vibe a little bit honestly and then in the back it says we shut the city down and shut it down she did because let me tell you that area was packed on both nights i think every single business hotel and whatever was there for beyonce and then i still have this but she gave us a little alkaline water so uh they were very good about that cute little detail the line was long we were thirsty she she quenched that thirst with some alkaline water so we we love that thank you miss beyonce um, and the great thing about it being Canadian dollars is, you know, it's basically like 25% off. I think that's what the currency exchange ended up being, but Miss Canada with them 15% uh, retail tax girl. So altogether I paid 158.20, uh, and then you convert that into us dollars. So this was the merch. And then the other item that I got from Holt Renfrew, I think of like Holt Renfrew as like the Saks Fifth Avenue of Canada, honestly. Um, this here, and this is what I wore to the concert. So you see them in the video. She is heavy, girl. She is heavy. Um, I have no idea how I'm going to clean this. I, like clean it in the sense that I want the discs to be shiny because they did get all smudged up and whatnot you definitely hear her before you see her wow it's like a disco ball in here um let me figure out where the top is i don't i don't even know girl anyways um this is a picture of me and on but this is a paco robin skirt Listen, I didn't think that she was going to fit me because she wasn't coming up when I was pulling her. Um, but she definitely, but if you drop it in top wise, like if you put it in over your head, it fit. 
And I was like, I am not about to pay this much money for a concert piece, honestly, because why? But it really was one of those things where I'm like, I'm gonna wear this for a long time. I think it is something, it is something that I have wanted in my closet. I think this is iconic Paco Roban, and it's Paco Roban, not Roban and whatever nonsense this new era is. And the thing that really got me about this was this item. Here's a little Paco Roban. Um, was made in Madagascar. Okay, you guys, this is Paco, right? Look what I just saw. Made in Madagascar. Who is making Paco Roban in Madagascar? Because I need to know. Because you need to make stuff for me. That is insane. And so I was like, it was meant to be. It was like the fifth hour and I was like, I need something. And it worked out. Last one ended up working out, fitting me, and it was from Madagascar. So who was I? Who was I to say no? Like, look at her. Really, really feeling it. Um, so there was that. And while I was in Toronto, I stopped by, if you know, you know, Ms. Hermes herself. Yes, the iconic white bag is more iconic than the orange bag, one could say. So I stopped by Ms. Hermes herself. I've never been to Hermes in Toronto. Last time I was in Toronto, I was young, like very young, and uh, again, broke. So here we are. The essay there, she was brand new. Um, but she was really lovely, took her time. I was like, I'm here to look at whatever. Um, showed me around. I looked at the fabulous uh, Faubourg watches that were more like jewelry pieces. And I was like, huh, this is uh, incredible. Definitely added that to the wish list. Uh, maybe in the section for when I move up a tax bracket. But yeah. So let's get into here. So with the conversion rate and the tax and everything, it ends up being close to what um, the prices in New York are. I think that some items are just like slightly cheaper while some items are pretty much exactly the same. So that's good to know if you're ever planning on shopping in luxury stores or amends in Toronto or in Canada if you are from the States. So let's start with this first one. We all know what this is. You can't go to Hermes and you know I still think Hermes scarves are fabulous and I I think I really need to stop buying scarves at this point because it's just like how many scarves do I need? But look at her. I have a lot of light pastel colored scarves and I really wanted something bold. We're coming in to the holder months. So I wanted something to work, but I think this also could work for summer. You got the pop of yellow, you got the bold red. And this scarf here is the Bride et Destine. This is in the red and gray scarf. And I was looking for like a red and tan scarf. Um, if I find a picture of the one that I was looking for, I'll let you know, but I think it's no longer, they're no longer doing in season or they're at least not, uh, they don't, they didn't have that in Canada. But I love Hermes scarves. To me, they're so utilitarian in the sense that there's multiple uses for them. I can't get enough of them. They're still at a price point that I'm okay paying for. So I'm trying to get the pieces that I really love and enjoy now while I can, because um, at a certain price point, it's just going to be a no for me dog. Um, and then this one here is uh, a set from the homeware line. I am so happy to get this. You guys know um, that I have been collecting homeware. I have a few hauls coming that's, that is very homeware forward. And this is from the Osh Deco uh, collection. 
These are the set of mugs. So it's the black and white. And I was looking for the other mug, the inverse of the Balcon de Guadalajuvier. They didn't have it, but they had this one. Um, so I ended up getting this and I am very excited to have these in my collection. I think somewhere down the line, I will get the, the full tea set. I had the breakfast cups, um, if you guys watched that video. Um, so now I have the mugs. So that is what I got from Hermes. And in terms of prices in Canada, the scarf was $5.50, um, which I'm pretty sure it's about that price now here in the US. But again, that's $5.50 Canadian. So you have to take off 25%. And then the set of mugs was $3.05, take off 25%. Um, and so altogether it came with tax, it was 966, but I think with the conversion was like around seven something. So, um, yeah, pretty satisfied with that. And that is all that I got from Toronto. Let me know what you enjoyed in this video. If you're going to see Beyonce, where and when, if you did go see her, but what, your, what was your favorite part? Do you guys think this might've been, this may be her last tour for a while I don't know I don't know it definitely kind of felt momentous and kind of like boom all out last kind of type of thing um let me know what you think of the necklace and the items in this video if you want to see more videos like these please like and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video so ta-ta for now bye